The second biggest blunder most people make when it comes to setting goals for their life is they make their goals too abstract or too generic or too fuzzy. And at that point, there's really no difference between a goal and a wish. If I say, I have a goal of becoming a world famous surgeon, and that's it, what does that mean? If you dig a little deeper, you might find out that I'm saying that because my parents told me that would be a respectable thing to do and I'd make a lot of money. In reality, maybe I hate the sight of blood. Maybe I hate chemistry. There's no way I'm ever gonna pass the organic chemistry class in college. So the goal for me to become a surgeon or a doctor is frankly a waste of time. It's just a general fuzzy aspiration. I'm sure you have friends who say, yes, I've started this great new diet. I'm gonna lose 50 pounds by beach season. And you see them three or four months later and they weigh the same or more than before. And they're talking to you about the newest diet they're on while eating a bag of potato chips and drinking a soft drink in front of you. Losing 50 pounds is an abstract, fuzzy, general notion. Meaningless if you don't couple it with the daily habit of not drinking soft drinks, not eating garbage food out of a bag, eating healthier, exercise. It is made up of a hundred other little daily habits if you want to actually lose weight. One of the most generic and therefore worthless goals people often tell themselves they have is, I want to be rich and successful. So they end up bouncing around from job to job to job thinking, this time I'll get lucky. This time I'll strike it rich. In my observation, looking at the most successful people in the world, the richest people in the world, is they never start off with the goal of, I want to be rich. They start off with a goal of trying to use their intelligence, their insights, their creativity in a way to help the most number of people in a way that their customers benefit, their clients, and they benefit too. I'm not saying they're all altruistic, but they started off with a vision of creating something, and that's what grew their wealth. Bill Gates, Steve Jobs, Warren Buffett. If you really look at their histories as children, young men, it was never about them saying, I want to make more money than anyone else so I can have the biggest car and the biggest house. That's not what made them successful. They focused on creating something the wealth came. And that is the biggest problem with most people who are starting off life or their career or they're out of high school or college or graduate school and they're just thinking in terms of wealth. I want to be rich. I want to make 10x the money I made last year. I'm not saying you can't have specific quantifiable financial goals, but the goal of just being rich in and of itself, it's like clouds in the sky. It's fuzzy, it's amorphous. It doesn't really mean anything. Now what does mean something is saying to yourself, I wanna become the best in the world at delivering this service or creating this product. And I'm willing to work really hard every single day. And I'm willing to refine it and market it to the whole world. Yeah, people like that often do get wealthy, but it's the thing they're trying to do that's making them wealthy. It's not the sheer desire for wealth. You've seen the statistics, as have I, the vast majority of people who set New Year's resolutions do not fulfill them. Most of them are broken, certainly by the end of the first quarter, many of them by the first week of the new year because it's not backed up with specific tactics. It's not backed up with habit changes. Your goals in life, what you reach in life is primarily a function of your daily habits. Of course there's luck. I'm not gonna tell you everything is about who works the hardest. Life is unfair based on where you were born, 
what you might look like, your race, your gender, your skin color, all of these things can create factors that work against you or for you. But I believe the biggest factor in people who end up really successful in life is about their daily habits. And that's what you can control. And that's what we're going to go into more detail in, in this course, is helping you not just have general, vague, fuzzy goals, but how to have highly concrete, specific goals. Of course, you still have to have macro level goals for the different spheres you have in life but you'll never just leave it there. You're not going to say, oh, my goal is to be healthy. Healthy and thin. Completely meaningless, abstract goal. It's only meaningful if you then break that down into a daily exercise routine, a daily eating, healthy eating routine, daily healthy sleep patterns. All of those things, you put them together, now all of a sudden, good health, proper weight, that can become a meaningful goal. So that's the second biggest blunder most people make. First, of course, as I mentioned in the previous lecture, just not having any goals. The second biggest blunder, having goals that are too general, vague, fuzzy, and they're just a wish.